G'day all, so in this video here, we're going to be looking at uh, breaking down a fission equation and we're just going to focus on part A for this example just in this video, okay? So answer the following questions about the fission of uranium-236 and it's producing lanth lanthanum-148 and bromine-85, okay? Remember, fission is the splitting of atoms, so it's one atom that splits into two. And use table A.2 for data, so this gives us the masses and binding energies. So, A. What's the difference between the binding energy of the uranium-236 nucleus and the sum of the binding energies of the two fission fragments? Okay, these two fission fragments are the lanthium-148 and bromine-85. So, what we first need to do here is we just need to write out our fission equation. So we have our uranium, so this is 23692U, that's our uranium, and this is getting split into, so that's all on one side by itself, it's getting split into our lanthanum, which is 148, it's the mass number, and then 57, LA, and it's also getting put into bromine, which was the 85. And just use your table of values here. Bromine 85, this has... So 35 Br. Okay. So hopefully you do notice here that our mass numbers aren't equaling up. 148 plus 85 doesn't equal 236. So we need to think about how many more neutrons we need to make this equal our 236. Okay? So you'll notice that your atomic numbers, these add up. Okay, 57 plus 35 does equal 92, but our top ones, they aren't equaling. So Hopefully you realise, all you need to do is do 148 plus 85 and see how many short you are. And if you do this, you realise that we're three short. So we need to add three neutrons. And you'll see this in our table down the bottom, the neutron. Okay. So we need to add three of them. So we just put a three out the front. And then a one, zero, N. I'm just going to zoom out a little because I haven't left myself enough room. And then we need to add always our energy. So remember, there's always energy left over. So that's how you write out the equation. Okay? So now we just need to find the binding energy of uranium and then compare that to the binding er energy of lanthanum and bromine added together. Okay? So I'm just going to use Be for binding energy of uranium and this is stated in our table so uranium binding energy here okay so we just need to write that value out okay so this is uranium sorry I should put 236 because it's all different depending on how many atoms they have so this is equal to 1790.415039 okay and this is mega electron volts and so MeV okay so then we just need to add up our binding energy of lanthanum and bromine 80 so binding energy of lanthanum this and I should write the symbol after it I keep forgetting that so it's lanthanum 148 so this here is 1213.125122 okay and we'll need to add this to our binding energy of our bromine 85 okay which is 
737.290649. So these two together, and these are the binding energy, the sum of the binding energy of the two fission fragments, okay? So what it splits into. So if you add all this up, you should get, just looking at the value I worked out earlier, one nine, oh, sorry, no. Yeah, one nine five zero point four one five seven seven one mega electron volts. Okay? So now in this question here we have worked out the sum of the binding energies here. Okay, our sum of our binding energies are here. And we've worked out our binding energy of uranium. And now in the question, it just asks us the difference between them. So the difference is just taking them away. So we get the higher number and take it from the smaller number. So we just do our energy difference. Okay. So our energy difference, this is just 1950.415771. And this is taking away from our binding energy of our uranium, which is 1790.415771. Oh, Nine, and this is all in, just remember, mega electron volts. So here, sorry, it's not my neatest writing there. So this will give you a value of 160.000732. Just make sure in this question, it says use the table and it has no other significant figures. So you need to use however many figures are there listed in your table. So make sure that you are doing that for this question. So you can write and normally, and I'll just won't do it just to shorten the video, but just write a short statement as your answer. Okay, so just make sure you are doing that. Okay, so that's how you answer question A of this one. I'm going to be doing each different part in a different video. So hopefully that helped with answering part A and tune in for the next one for part B.